Secondly, as regards the Akbabio and everybody's scenario, they are way, way superior. Common sense number one is not common. Hello guys, welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now, did you know that in 1992, when the federal government signed the Nigerian Broadcasting Communication Degree Number 28, which established the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation into law, it abolished the monopoly of broadcasting outfits. Otherwise, what do you think would give the likes of Ruben Abati and Rafael Useni the audacity to reprimand the number three citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Goswila Pabio, which many have reprimanded his actions at the funeral of Herbert Wigwe that happened in River State over the weekend? Yes, in as much as the rule of constructive criticism in a society cannot be overemphasized, it's seeming as though the federal government is regretting the decision of the political class as at that time, as it is showing in the actions of the Chief of Staff of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Femi Bajabia Mila and the former Governor of Lagos State in person of Fashola, who are close aides to the Presidency. Now, recall the Chief of Staff had proposed the regulation of the social media industry, which many have condemned critically, stating that that is a way of the government going ahead to go against the Freedom of Information Bill. Yes, I'd like to make bold to say that it's too late to control the social media because Nigerians have taken over. Now, in this video, I'd like you to see the response of Dr. Ruben Abati and Rafai Useni, who have reprimanded openly the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for his actions at the funeral of Herbert Wigwe, which many have seen as insensitive. If you want to hear the comment section, let's get to know what you think about the comments of Rafai Useni and Dr. Ruben Abati. I wish I could continue to be here to serve you. Take a look. Senate President Godswilak Babio at the combined funeral service for the late group CEO of Access Bank, Herbert Wigwe, his wife Doreen Wigwe, and their son Cheesy Wigwe took to the stage to offer his condolences and use the opportunity to throw a political jab at the River State Governor, Sim Fubara. The River State Governor during the funeral service had said that there is no need for all the political struggle in life while eulogizing the late CEO, saying that Herbert couldn't control death with all his financial power. Godzilla Pabio, in response, said that if there is nothing in the struggle for politics, Fubara should remove himself from the struggle, generating several reactions. Let's take a look before we come back for some reactions. This one has to do with our political class. What is all this struggle all about? You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? a man. He's not a politician. He made his money through us, our investment. He has the world in his palm financially. He controls even the political classes. But today, with all the power financially, couldn't control life. Is it not enough for us to ask ourselves, why are we struggling? Why are we not making impact in the life of our people? Just like Governor Fumana said, what is the struggle all about? I will answer you. The struggle, we are not talking politics. In 2006, I wanted to be a deputy governor. So the then deputy governor invited me and told me that this office has no money. There is nothing in it. I don't know why you see the seats on moving me from here and taking over. So a woman who went with me said, yes, I see. Then don't wait for impeachment. Just resign since there is nothing in it. And he stood up and he started punching the woman. And I told him, yes, don't punch her. She's telling the truth. There's nothing in the office. That's why I want it. Because you are too big for it. So yes, let's go with the But if there's nothing in the struggle, don't struggle. All right, let me take this tweet from Matedo Peter side, who wrote, 
For the record, I was among those who found the Senate President's comments at the Uyghur family funeral in Port Harcourt to be in poor taste. He began by lamenting that Peter Obi received greater applause than he, Akbabio, got, and later told us to join him in consoling the widow who was lying in one of the three caskets in front of him. Jokes, political jabs at a solemn combined funeral, me thinks that was self-centered and totally insensitive. Another tweet there goes uh, from Ozzy Baba, wrote, Senate President Gosula Pabio has shown he lacks emotional intelligence. What Governor Fubara said at the burial of Herbert Wigwe is the only takeaway from this tragedy. After everything, we will live this life. There is nothing we struggle for. The only word to describe Apabio is petty. The pastor did well in putting him in his place. Dr. Abati, I was in that room and I was in awe when I heard some of the comments he made. A lot of people there were just really frustrated with the comments because, I mean, it was a, a, a gathering, a solemn gathering, and didn't they didn't deserve that type of disrespect. Well, yeah, I agree with you. It was disrespectful of the dead. And uh, it's very important for politicians to know where they play their politics. Vote for uh, Governor Fubara, who was uh, having the innuendo about what are we struggling for, what do you want to kill for, what do you want to die for, and also the response by the uh, Senate president. That was not the right place, not the right occasion to toy around with political innuendos or to set to political scores or to politicize any subject whatsoever. Uh, but you see, when adults behave badly, they also should be called out. The kind of maturity that we expect at the highest level that we don't often find, whether it's at a funeral, which is supposed to be a very solemn ceremony or in the conduct of uh, government affairs, you know, it's what makes us very doubtful yes. about our leaders, how they lead, their level of understanding, the, their, their competence, their capacity, their choice in the first place. So, but I don't think we should dwell too heavily on this uh, case of adults behaving badly. The more important solemn occasion was the farewell to Herbert Wigwe, his wife and his son uh, who died. The sunset at noon you know, that everyone has lamented about. I think these uh, politicians making wrong statements is totally a distraction, right. in my view. Well, May the souls of the departed rest in peace. I'll just say two things. Number one, as regards the story of finding the bandits and all of that, what I'll just say is this. Don't ascribe to malice what you can explain with incompetence. Oh. That's number one quote. Secondly, as regards the Ababio and everybody's scenario there at Wewe's burial, it has to be said, and I quote again, common sense, number one, is not common. Secondly, you cannot ascribe age to maturity. We think with age, maturity should come, but it doesn't come. And secondly, emotional intelligence is not positional. Right. It is right. based on your disposition. Right. I think I've said enough. I said, well, common sense is not common. The uncommon Senate president. You've seen it for yourself. Now, let's believe that the Senate president will be remorseful for his actions at the Herbert Wigwe and family's funeral, as I want to make bold to say that no one is above mistake. But regardless, our politicians must understand that as people who have chosen to become the leaders and people who have decided to be at the helm of affairs, the eyes of the media, the eyes of Nigerians are on you, and you must do what to act right. Otherwise, the media would always bring out your misgivings for everyone to see. Please do want to go to the comment section and drop your thoughts. Let's get to know what you think about the actions of Governor Fubara, the actions of the Senate President, and the words of Rafai Hussein. And we shall continue to be here to serve you. Please do want to touch the like button. It doesn't cost anything. That's the only way you can do well to support us. My name again is Moses, and this is Think Tank TV. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers. We actually do not take it lightly. See you on our next video. Bye for now.